The Greek government is in jeopardy tonight because the prime minister surprised everyone when he said the European deal to rescue Greece from its own debts would have to be put before Greek voters. That touched off a revolt within his own party. And the prime minister has just fired his military chiefs of staff, that in a country with a history of military coups. Mark Phillips has our story. Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou has stunned the financial world by announcing that the bailout deal painstakingly negotiated with European leaders to try to save his country from bankruptcy would now be put to a national referendum. Months of violent demonstrations have already shown how divided Greece is and putting the package which calls for tax hikes along with salary and pension cuts to a public vote is seen as an invitation for the deal to unravel, dragging any hope of a world economic recovery down with it. Just when we thought that the European debt crisis had finally, finally been put to, bre to, put to bed, it's injected again it's the massive volatility and uncertainty back into financial markets. Papandreou's government will face a confidence vote in Parliament on Friday and could fall. That would put the bailout deal in jeopardy and put Greece on the fast track to default, causing financial havoc across Europe. World leaders who have stuck their financial necks out for Papandreou have summoned him to an economic summit this week. This was supposed to be the week that world leaders gathered in France to chart the next course of the economic battle. Also the week that demonstrators gathered to tell them what they were doing wrong. Now the whole agenda has been tossed up in the air like a Greek salad. And instead of dealing with big plans to fix a stuttering world economy, the argument here will be sidetracked by a small country, Greece, that is causing big countries so much trouble. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Nice, France.